I think any mom goes through this if they have homeschooled their their kids. It's there's always this self doubt where you feel like, am I doing enough? I want to focus just for a little bit. I want to talk about renewing our homeschooling because as we're coming into this new year, we all know if we've been homeschooling for more than a year, that February can often bring this time of just kind of, I don't want to say dread, but um, almost overwhelm. Like we're just, it, which is kind of strange because we just took a big break, but it's almost this like February slump. Where we're like, oh man, you know, am I doing this right? What What's going on here? And it, it can be kind of a like homeschool depression, if you will. And so let's talk really quickly about how we can renew our homeschool in this new year. Yeah, sure. I think any mom goes through this. If they have homeschooled their, their kids, it's, there's always this self-doubt where you feel like, am I doing enough? Is this the right curriculum? Is my kid, you know, caught up? Are they learning the things that they need to be learning? Am I doing anything right? Um, and everybody goes through this and that's the beauty of homeschool is if maybe you feel like something's not right, you can change it because you're the, you're the teacher and you have control. You have full control. If your if your child is not responding to something correctly, you can, you can make a turn and do something differently. Um, and I think also it, for, for at least me, the weather has a, a whole bunch to do with our day and so if we can't be outside for the majority of the day, it, it really makes it hard. Um, I, I really love doing morning time with my kids outside when we can. And so I don't know, I feel like maybe February is, is you know, obviously one of the coldest months of the year. Um, yeah. And so not, you know, to not be able to be outside, it just, that can kind of contribute to a little bit of the, the, the blues as well. Sure. Um, and even sometimes just being able to like introduce new things, you know, like you don't always have to start in August. I know as a homeschool mom, for me, at least I always get all my curriculum ready and it's just like this buzz and this excitement, but that doesn't really come in January when you come back from the holidays. And so maybe, you know, don't start everything in August. Like if you have um, like a constitution course, like I have that, that I've already purchased, but we haven't started it yet. Maybe I'll throw that in later in the year, you know, like being able to kind of change things up a little bit. I think it's helpful for us as moms and also helpful for our kids to have something new and exciting, but also within their same routine. How about you, Abby? How do you renew your homeschooling in the new year? Well, the I January's I love because December's so crazy busy. I love getting back into the schedule of January. But then February is brutal. I mean, it's just it for some reason February here is rough. Um, but we just renew. I, I think like like Elizabeth said, try try to do something new. We we take a break when we need a break. That's one thing that's really that we do. Like when everybody's when I can just tell we need a break, we take a break. We don't need to follow anybody else's schedule for breaks. So if we need to take a week in February, we'll take a week in February and just do something completely outside the box. I love that you give yourself permission to do that. Yeah. Because we feel like, wait a minute. We have to this, wait till the, spring break in April. Right. And it's like, who says? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and sometimes taking that time off just to regroup and, right. you know, and have fun. I mean, take your yeah. kids to do fun things, whether it's snow skiing or sledding or just, you know, walks in the park, even if it's freezing cold, you know, uh, that Jenny Urich, she, she gets us with that. It's okay if it's cold outside, you know, bundle your kids <laughs> up and get outside. And I, you know me, Abs, I'm a big fat baby when it comes to being in the cold. Um, but, but I'm learning to, to enjoy it. It's kind of weird. Like the older I get, I'm learning to enjoy the cold and appreciate yeah. it. And we're flip flop. Even. If it's over 80, we can't, we don't go outside. I mean, it's <laughs> awful. Like yesterday, it was three degrees and we were out there up the hill hiking. Uh -huh. It's like wow. our sanity. Insane. So you just do what's wor what, what works for your family. And I think you yeah. read your kids and you you don't push yourself when you don't need to. I mean, we can take breaks when we need to. And, and I think that's the big thing with homeschool. You do what works for your kids and your husband and your family. And then you don't get that burnout as much because you're not doing the things that work for everybody else. You're doing what works for you. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. 
For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 